dear brothers today the word of god serves as a great tool of encouragement for us you know these days from the first reading we have been listening from the letter to the hebrews it was written to a people who were very much discouraged who were wavering to go back to their own jewish religion and the writer tells them that their suffering has meaning persevere till the very end with trust in god with humility and you will see god's wonders in your life in the path of our own occasional journey also sometimes we are very much discouraged we try hard we don't achieve the expected results and sometimes it happens uh, people attribute wrong motives to us we are misunderstood we are humiliated by teachers sometimes by companions we feel come on why to continue this journey call it a day say it quits like that we tend to think the word of god is a great support consolation encouragement to us the writer tells them no you were really deprived of even your properties they insulted you they persecuted you but do not lose your initial fervor cling on to the lord you will have peace serenity true joy let us thank the lord for the gift of his word two possibilities persevere and succeed or get discouraged and perish which do we want to choose we can persevere and experience the lord's power and today's gospel also yet another source of encouragement we have been listening to parables related to agriculture the farmer today also the lord says the power is in the seed sometimes we think we have the power we are like the farmers we have to do our duty but success does not depend all the time only on our effort and duty we have to do our duty and then wait for the result the gospel very beautifully says it grows whether he is awake or whether he is asleep first the shoot then the ear then the grain on the ear very beautiful only that we need to take time to wait with humility with patience with perseverance let us not think that everything can be achieved by us as in paul beautifully said i planted apollo watered only it is god who gives the growth when we are leaving everything in the hands of the lord we we will not be very much upset when there is a failure god will take care that's what we will say we will not boast about the results either because it is god who gives power st francis de sales often spoke of the desire to see the results too soon that is one of our uh, mistakes we want to see too soon even i sometimes you know when i upload something in the internet uh, that evening itself i go back how many people today watched it instead of waiting for a week at least i am so eager to see how many people have watched or listened to 
the word of god like that the desire to see the result too soon when i was a small boy when we are cultivating groundnut seeing uh, the groundnut plant and then i used to pluck a few to see whether already there is some ground and then my brother used to scold me for uh, simply destroying before it is due time and waiting for some groundnuts underneath god will give the result in his own time what we need is patience humility trusting in the providence of god perseverance the lord will never desert us thanks be to god you are young so many problems will come on the way lord i do my part and leave everything in your hands i always have told so many of the students the world judges by the result god judges you by the effort you put in ultimately you can stand up honestly and say i have worked harder than others i have studied a few more minutes than others you are great in the eyes of god maybe not immediate result the lord will give the due result in his own time but he will surprise us by his generosity may we be strengthened by this letter to the hebrews which was written to encourage the christians who were wavering who were upset let us be encouraged by this beautiful parable jesus our lord told us asking us to wait patiently for the result after doing our work telling us finally there will be the shoot the year and the grain in the year and also we had another parable the parable of the mustard seed beginnings are very humble but with the power of the lord there will be enormous results you are studying third year philosophy when i am going to reach the altar the beginning may be humble years of work patience ultimately we leave everything in the hand of god for making you true messengers of the gospel true disciples according to his heart amen